They're calling this a trip from hell, but they're hoping that this becomes a teaching tool for Spirit as well as other airlines. I spoke to Courtney Adkins very early this morning. Uh, she and her family of four, which includes two small children, a two and a half year old and a four year old, spent the night on the floor in a secluded area of LAX after their flight was diverted here and then canceled. Courtney says flight number 466 left Oakland around 8:15 Monday. It was supposed to arrive in Las Vegas an hour later. Halfway through the flight, though, she says she and other passengers on the packed plane were rerouted here due to bad weather. And once the flight landed, she figured she and her family and everyone else would just take another flight out and be on their way. But instead, she says they were stuck on the plane for two hours on the tarmac before finally being deplaned. And then once inside the terminal, everyone was left to fend for themselves. I mean, we've been without water, we've been without food, we've been without phone battery, we've been without literally anything you could think of traveling. Our kids don't have jackets. It's just, it's crazy. If I could talk to them, I would definitely tell them they need to have a training course on their employees, on events that are unexpected, on how to just properly talk and communicate with their guests. And in the last nine hours, Courtney says all she's had is cookies and water. In the meantime, slowly passengers, she say, were given boarding passes for other flights. Courtney says luckily she will hopefully be able to depart LAX around 6 o'clock this morning. In the meantime, back out live now, we reached out to Spirit Airlines and have yet to hear back. Sending it back to you.